Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Coming 1 September 15 And he sent forth and put to death all the male children who are in Bethlehem and in all its districts. Matthew 2.16 at the birth of Christ, Satan saw the plains of Bethlehem illuminated with the brilliant glory of a multitude of heavenly angels. He heard their song, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. The prince of darkness saw the amazed shepherds filled with fear as they beheld the illuminated plains. They trembled before the exhibitions of bewildering glory, which seemed to entrance their senses. The rebel chief himself trembled at the proclamation of the angel to the shepherds. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. He had met with good success in devising a plan to ruin men and women. And he had become bold and powerful. He had controlled the minds and bodies of men and women from Adam down to the first appearing of Christ. But now, Satan was troubled and alarmed for his kingdom and his life. The song of the heavenly messengers proclaiming the advent of the Saviour to a fallen world and the joy expressed at this great event, Satan knew boded no good to himself. Dark forebodings were awakened in his mind as to the influence of this advent to the world would have upon his kingdom. He queried, if this was not the coming one, who would contest his power and overthrow his kingdom? He looked upon Christ from his birth as his rival. He stirred the envy and jealousy of Herod to destroy Christ by insinuating to him that his power and his kingdom were to be given to this new king. Satan imbued Herod with the very feelings and fears that disturbed his own mind. He inspired the corrupt mind of Herod to slay all the children in Bethlehem who were two years old and under, which plan he thought would succeed in ridding the earth of the infant king. But against his plans, he sees a higher power at work. Angels of God protected the life of the infant redeemer. Joseph was warned in a dream to flee into Egypt, that in a heathen land he might find an asylum for the world's redeemer. Further reflection. Do I give Satan opportunity to imbue my mind with his feelings? How can I protect my mind from evil influences?